Hi, my name is Patrick Richter, Managing Director. Thanks for tuning in to our short video on how to effectively create a paycheck from your investment account in retirement. Our hypothetical retiree that we'll be showing you today does not have a pension, but has saved over their working career and now has roughly a $2.5 million portfolio. The client has no other source of income in retirement other than Social Security. We'll assume both husband and wife Social Security is a combined $50,000 a year before taxes. And this family needs to support $120,000 a year spending before tax. For $120,000 a year, we need to obviously generate a $10,000 per month paycheck for this client. Because there is $50,000 coming from Social Security, this client needs to take roughly $70,000 a year from the portfolio before tax. We refer to this income strategy as the bucket strategy. Bucket strategy is having three distinct buckets for the investment portfolio that are going to help generate a consistent monthly paycheck over the course of retirement. In bucket one, we recommend keeping one to two years of spending needs as cash in this portfolio, provide safety, immediate liquidity, emergency cash, and also dry powder if investment opportunities present themselves. One to two years of $70,000 after-tax spending need would fill bucket one with about $140,000 in cash. It's important to note that bucket one will not earn much interest, but its purpose is to preserve, not to grow. This is important. This is the bucket that you will pull your $70,000 annual paycheck from and as you will see, it remains in a steady state. We're not going to spend it all down and then replenish once the money is gone. In other words, it will be refilled continuously as you spend the cash. For bucket two, this is for years three, four, five, six, and seven of spending needs in retirement. And we're approximately five years. Five years of needs at $70,000 a year would have bucket two include $350,000 of assets. Instead of cash, we're going to simply ladder out high-quality, investment-grade, corporate, or municipal bonds. This would depend on tax bracket and account type. These bonds mature over the next three to seven years. And unlike cash, the interest from these bonds in today's environment yields approximately 2.5%. So we're receiving better than zero, better than cash, about $8,750 a year from our $350,000 individual bond portfolio. And that's simply 2.5% of $350,000 on an annual basis. Instead of reinvesting that income, though, this is important, the $8,750 income stream can flow to bucket one and replenish part of the cash as we spend our $10,000 month to month. The purpose of bucket two, like bucket one, is not to grow the money. Again, very important. Bucket two is for safety, for future liquidity, future spending needs, and for the occasional emergency, and again, what we refer to as dry powder as investment opportunities may present themselves. Since our money is in bonds, individual bonds, that do not mature over the very near term, Unlike cash, we do earn a bit of interest on the holdings. Again, not much, but better than cash. The seven years is key. Seven years gives retirees the opportunity to ride out a potential bear market and importantly, not be forced to sell stocks when the market is down to meet spending needs. Now let's take a peek inside bucket three. Bucket three is everything else in the investment portfolio. This is what is traditionally referred to as the investment portion of the portfolio. In this example, we have $2,010,000 because we started with $2.5 million. $140,000 is in bucket one. $350,000 is in bucket two. This leaves $2,010,000 to be invested in bucket three. We can have growth stocks, dividend-paying stocks, mutual funds, index funds, Really, any investment acquired for growth and income potential, not for preservation characteristics like bucket one and bucket two. For retirees, we like to focus bucket three on investments that not only have potential to grow in value over the long term, but equally important, 
investments that pay current dividends year in and year out. In this example, we are getting 3.1% in dividends from an approximate portfolio of $2 million. So we are generating $62,000 a year of income. That's the dividend income. That has nothing to do with if the stocks go up or down in value. This $62,000 a year will flow to bucket one on a year-by-year -year basis and replenish our spending. Between bucket two, remember bucket two is generating $8,750 per year, and now bucket three generating approximately $62,000 a year, we are now generating our $70,000 spending goal per year without ever touching the principal of our portfolio. Most importantly, we can now take a long-term approach on the investment portion of our portfolio, even though we are retired and no longer earning a traditional paycheck. The investments in bucket three can be viewed through a seven plus year time horizon, and this allows short-term market fluctuations to simply become noise. We believe this is critical to long-term investment success. Regardless of how markets perform on a year-by-year -year basis, up, down, or simply stuck in neutral, the consistency of the $70,000 in income allows for a worry-free retirement. Furthermore, through the magic of dividend increases, the $70,000 income stream should grow and keep pace with inflationary pressures. This summarizes the bucket approach to creating a paycheck in retirement. We are happy to assist in creating your very own bucket strategy to investing. Just give us a call and we're happy to help. Thanks and have a great day.